Hey guys, my name is Prez and welcome back to another Apple OS X Yosemite beta. Uh, no, not beta, developer preview. This is number seven in our little mini series here. Um, but soon enough it will come to an end and uh, I won't be able to make these type of videos anymore for you guys. And I'm very sad to uh, give you guys that news. But um, today, uh, as I said before, they released uh, Yosemite Beta 7.1, as like the same thing, but they added something different. They added something different in this one, Yosemite Recover Update 2.0. Um, basically, it just it, it it's better for when you want to restore your system or recover it. Um, you can do that with your Yosemite Beta uh, developer or whatever all that stuff so in this one we're gonna take a look at right now I'm gonna go on my favorite website for Apple news and all that stuff uh, 9 to 5 Mac we're gonna scroll down here because uh, Apple Apple today released the seventh developer preview of the OSS OS X Yosemite bringing the latest build to 14 a 3 f so the previous one was Nine two nine. Now we're at four three. Um, also, they updated uh, Xcode six beta seven uh, OS X server four point zero developer preview and Apple configure configurer one point seven beta five. And um, additional, we're gonna take a look at this, but additional new icons in system preferences app. Now. As we look in system preferences here, I don't see any any differences. I do see any differences like in the flag and the um, security and privacy, but I don't see any new. If you guys see any new new apps, just uh, just tell me here. And uh, oh, they changed the startup disk. Instead of having the question mark. So, yeah. Alright, so we're going to take a look at that. Also, reason why I got it late right now because they tweaked the dark menu and uh, they, they tweaked dark menu and dock mode and thinner font. So they made the font thinner. Um, new, app, uh, new app icons for dashboard, keychain, disk utilities, and migration assist uh, dark mode is now including spotlight search mode spotlight search uh, software update has uh, removed from the Apple menu the app Mac app stores handles these anyway so they took away the uh, up software update here you have to enter the app store now which you enter the app store automatically anyways as you guys can see here um, the app store to new and um, so we're gonna take a look at that um, also we're gonna take a look at uh, file versions no longer uses parent time machines in their interface I don't have a time machine so I can't really show you guys this but here's a picture of it um, if you want to go on this website and look at it you can uh, color sync utility icon tweaked so they kind of tweaked the icon uh, new disk image icon so they made it a little bit better default uh, for calls option in FaceTime preferences you can choose Skype so you can choose Skype as your, like your main FaceTime stuff or you can use the Apple app so what I am going to do now I'm actually going to go update my system and we're going to take a look at these new features and um, yeah, so I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. I officially uh, installed the the new update for OS X Yosemite Beta. As you guys have seen in like the first part of the video, um, I said I go restart my system and install it and all that stuff. Um, but as you guys can see here, I can see a difference in the font up here. But I don't know if you guys can't. So what I'm gonna do is actually switch to uh, dark mode if you guys don't know how to switch to dark mode um, yet 
I'm just going to show you how really quickly. So we, you can launch your system preferences. Then you're going to go to general. It's right under it's right under appearance. It's right there. Use dark mode menu bar dock. So what that does, it turns everything dark. And uh, as you guess, I can, see, I can see a difference in the font. The font actually looks better. Uh, it just looks, it looks more cleaner. Um, all this looks more cleaner. All that stuff. And uh, the search bar. Uh, it looks kind of weird. They need to fix that. That looks weird. Uh, it definitely doesn't look like. Why am I open up Final Cut? Don't need to open that up yet. Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Right. That's weird. All right. So yeah. So they did definitely change the the font. They definitely did change the font. Uh, as you guys can see here, they got rid of the. Um, the uh, software update, as you guys can see here, has got system preferences about this Mac and uh, all that stuff. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to look at dashboard. If I could find dashboard, there is the new dashboard. See if they changed anything. Nope, they didn't change anything in dashboard. Another one was disk utilities. There's a new icon for disk utilities. And uh, there's a new icon for migration assist. Yeah, so they didn't really. Uh, they changed. They changed a couple of things. Uh, they didn't change a lot, but they did change a couple of things. Um, obviously, I don't have these three applications, so I can't really show you. Um, maybe I'll download them and uh, I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, so they did. They did definitely changed. Um, the definitely the look of the this stuff so uh, this is one thing I can't show you because I don't have I don't have time machine hooked up oh color sync we can take a look at that uh, color sync so they definitely look they definitely changed the icon there too right there what color sync is if you guys don't know what color color sync is went into the application now is it it kind of kind of um, so yeah, so I'm gonna click repair. Um, what it does is it cleans it 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 color corrects your your computer for you, basically. Um, another one, uh, new disk icon. Um, I believe I believe I have a disk in here somewhere that I can show you guys really quickly. Yep, right there. There, right there. See if I can zoom in for you guys. Nope, can't zoom in for you guys. But there it is. Um, they definitely changed that. It looks ten times better. Um, yeah, so this was a quick update on the OS X Yosemite Beta. They have changed a couple of things. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think these are good updates? Or do you guys think these are bad updates? Um, tell me if you guys see a difference in the, uh, in the font, the text, um, everything. Um, tell me if you like this feature where they took away software updates you have to enter the app store and then press software updates um, yeah tell me what you guys like and tell me what you guys don't like about this uh, this operating system or this developer preview or all that stuff and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give this big huge thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe for um, for some more videos on OS X Yosemite. Um, if they do come out, if any new updates come out, I will definitely do a video on them. And uh, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like I said before. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoy it. Um, my name is Prez, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.